my name is Julie. I am a librarian at the Nanaimo North Branch of Vancouver Island Regional Library. And in today's Rural Recommends video, I wanted to talk about rainy day boredom buster books. So these are the type of books that you know if it's a rainy day, a snowy day, a very windy day, any kind of day where you can't spend too much time outdoors, uh, these are the kind of books you'll want to just sit down with and do some of the activities in and um, can really keep you busy and entertained on those kind of days. And all the books I'm going to share with you today, uh, they're all for elementary school age children. Uh, that's who they're geared towards. Um, having said that though, there are a lot of activities in the books that younger children could do with, you know, adult help. And there's also a lot of activities in the books th that teens or adults may enjoy doing too. I mean, I know I found there was some activities that I really wouldn't mind trying for sure. All right, so let me show you what I found. So to start with, if you've got anybody who enjoys doing science experiments in your family, I have this one, Science You Can Eat by Stephen Gates. And this one is a DK book, and I don't know if you're familiar with DK, but they do a lot of uh, books for children, and nonfiction books, and they're all very, very eye-catching. Um, lots of color photos, lots of little text tidbits, lots of information. Um, I'm always happy when I see a new DK book come across my desk because uh, they're always beautiful to look at. And in this one, you'll learn a lot about um, food, you'll learn a lot about digestion, and then you'll get to do a lot of science experiments too. And, and they're fun ex science experiments, things like making um, invisible ink, um, making bubble gum completely disappear. I don't know how you do that, <laughs> I haven't tried it. And um, even making edible slime. That could be really fun for sure. So that's science you can eat. Next up, we have the Ultimate at Home Activity Guide by Mike Lowry. Now this one features over a hundred different um, activities you can do at home. And it's a great one for kind of reading randomly. Uh, each, each activity has its own page. And I found I really like to just flip to any kind of page um, and just see what activity was on that page and see if it's something I felt like doing. And then if it wasn't something I wanted to do, I could flip to another page. So I've opened here on making a marshmallow catapult, which could be a fun thing to do for sure. So um, lots and lots of ideas, uh, very different ideas. You know, there's some, everybody will find something they want to do in this, you know. And if you flip to a page and it's not an activity you're interested in, just flip to another page and do that activity instead. Uh, gives you lots and lots of directions to go. And then, if you have a lot a, of cardboard boxes at home, and really, who doesn't when <laughs> we've been doing online shopping due to COVID, um, even, you know, cereal boxes, anything like that, um, then maybe you will be interested in this book. This book is Cardboard Box Engineering by Jonathan Adolph. And this one takes um, cardboard box crafts to a whole new level. Um, these are really kind of complex cardboard uh, box creations. On the front cover here, for example, this is a uh, wind-powered uh, tractor. And here's a robo <laughs> robotic hand um, that you can make. So really, really complex projects. Each of them um, has multiple pages of steps that you have to go through, you know, like sometimes five or six pages. So it's definitely the kind of book that uh, if you choose a project, it's, you know, it's not going to be finished in 20 minutes kind of thing. It's, it's going to take some time, but the finished project is going to be absolutely amazing. Um, just the things you can make in here. Um, other things you could make, uh, there was um, a solar powered oven which would be fun to see if you could cook your cookies or something like that. Um, there was, you can make an amplifier for your smartphone, you know, as a speaker kind of thing. Um, you can make a marble run, just all kinds of different directions to take just a few cardboard boxes. The Highlights Book of Things to Do. This one is a monster. It is a giant book. There are over 350 different ideas in this one, um, all split into different categories. Uh, so for example, if you like brain games, you can turn to that section and see what they've got listed there. If you like crafting, um, 
you can turn to there. If you like science experiments, there's a section on that. Um, everybody is definitely going to find something they want to do in this book because there just is so many ideas. My favorite section, though, and I think I bookmarked it here. Yes, I did. Was this one, Do Great Things. And this one caught my eye because this section is all about um, doing things for others. You know, doing things to make other people smile, doing things to help out your community. And um, I, I really like, like the direction that was going. And it had things like, you know, you can make kindness rocks, you can make a kindness calendar. Um, some really fantastic ideas uh, to help help out others. Uh, so hopefully quite a few of you might be interested in trying some things in that section. Two more books to show you. This one is Enchanting Fairy Tale Crafts by Marn Ventura. So if you have somebody in your family that really likes fairy tales and likes reading fairy tales, this is a great book to pair with a fairy tale book. So for example, you could um, read Thumbelina together and then it has a craft where you make a garden for Thumbelina. Or you could um, read Sleeping Beauty together and then there's a castle craft that goes with that. Uh, you could read Hansel and Gretel and then there's an enchanted forest you can make to go with that. So really great one, especially you know if you're a librarian. <laughs> this really spoke to me because it's pairing books and crafts together and that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and just so cute. I mean, look even on the front cover there. Those are just such cute little things. I think my favorite craft in this one, though, was you could make um, dinosaur eggs just out of marshmallows and Rice Krispies, uh, which I think would be really fun to try. Um, and they turned out great, at least according to the pictures, the, the pictures I could look at in this one. Okay, and then finally, we have Maker Camp by Delaney Holton Fessler. And this one I found was a book to just truly savor. This is one that will speak to adults as well as children um, because the author, before she gets started on the crafts, she really goes into her crafting philosophy and it, it really spoke to me. You know, she talks about how she wants to bring back kind of traditions of old, the crafting ideas that have maybe been forgotten by time um, in the hopes that you know children enjoy this kind of crafting and it helps them become self-sufficient adults. Um, the language she uses to describe her philosophy I, I found was just beautiful. In fact, I marked a little passage here. Um, Through the seemingly antiquated notion of arts and crafts we practice at life. We make life more beautiful and we connect to one another. Let's get our hands dirty, make mistakes, and bring back some good old-fashioned making and doing. So it is heritage crafts um, and traditions, and re a lot of things that I'd love to try. You know, she goes into weaving, um, soap carving, um, how to hand sew a stuffy, how to make natural dyes, homemade kites. Uh, just some really, really great projects in this one. And again, kind of at the upper end of being complex compared to some of the books I've showed you. Um, but yeah, you can really savor this one and you know really take your time with a craft. So there we go. Those are the books I wanted to show you today. Hopefully some of those look interesting to your family and hopefully you will check them out of one of our branches soon. Um, you can look them all up in our online catalog, and the link is below, and uh, put a hold on them if they're not in your local branch. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. See you next time. Bye.